So that brings us to the conclusion of the section on hyperelastic. Before we wrap up, let's do a quick review of what we learned. We discussed the physical aspects of hyperelastic materials such as large elastic deformations, their energy conserving deformation and of course their nonlinear behavior. The nonlinear material models are calibrated from a set of experiments and we talked about what kinds of experiments are preferred and what precautions are to be taken in conducting them. We have also learned the theoretical basis in developing constitutive models and discussed a few common examples that are commonly used. We have also covered two applications to introduce us to the world of practical modeling of hyperelastic material models. With this information, we can now tackle the task of modeling most hyperelastic material models. Although our discussion in this section has been limited to nearly or fully incompressible materials, we did discuss the basics of compressible behavior. So it lays the foundation for us to build upon. 